G'day. I use oxalic acid and nothing else to control varroa mites in my hives. It's early spring here in New Zealand. I've just checked my hives for the first time in the spring and I have found 95% of my hives are still alive. That's a good survival rate for New Zealand. What do I put that down to? In my view, the biggest single factor that has kept my hives alive is low mite infestation levels and I do that using nothing but oxalic acid. Here are four things about the way I use oxalic acid which I think improve its effectiveness above and beyond what you would normally expect to get. The first of those four things is my choice between vaporization or extended release oxalic acid strips. What do I choose? Both. I use them in combination. I use the vaporization to knock down the phoretic mites, that's the mites on the bees, and I use the extended release strips to control mites that are emerging from the brood. In practice, I go around my hives in the springtime, I'm doing it right now, I put the strips in the hives first and then I vaporize the hive on the same day. In my view, that approach is more effective than multiple treatments of vaporization alone and it's more effective than using the extended release strips alone. The next tip I want to give you is about how I store my extended release oxalic acid strips. If I've made strips and used them right away, that's not a problem. But if I've made them and I want to store them for a while, I don't want them to dry out. Here's a little clip showing you what I do to stop them from drying out. So here's a batch of strips that I made yesterday. I've taken them out of the oxalic acid liquid and I've stood them on end like this for a couple of hours just to drain off surplus fluid and then I do this to them. So by sucking all the air out of them, they stay like that, they don't dry out, and when you're ready to use them, they're all ready to go. Great tip. Thanks to Russell from Beequip for showing me that it's what he does. My third tip relates to how often to treat. I treat in the spring, in the midsummer, while I've got honey supers on, and again in the autumn. I don't leave my hives untreated between spring and autumn. It's too long, it gives the mite levels too much of a chance to get up high where they can do a lot of damage inside the hive. It's fine to put extended release oxalic acid strips into your hive while you've got honey supers on. Here in New Zealand and in many other countries. I know that in the USA at the moment it's not permitted. And then the fourth and final thing that I do in the autumn is I repeat that combo approach that I did in the spring. So I bang strips in the same day, I give them a good vaporization, and that drops the levels of phoretic mites right down low and controls any mites that are emerging from brood from that point forward. If you are only vaporizing and you're waiting until the hive is broodless before you do your treatments, the damage is already done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the little bell. That does two things. It improves the YouTube algorithm so that my videos get pushed out a bit better, and it means you'll get notification for the next one, which is coming up soon. Thanks for watching.